Hi everyone, I hope you had an amazing week. Uh, welcome to another five round pub quiz. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. It's an incredibly easy game to play. Uh, all I'll say, if you do want to play along, get something to jot your score down with, make life a little easier, and I'll explain all the rules and the rounds as we go. So we will start this quiz by going through the tiebreaker question of last week. So the question was, how many islands uh, does Japan have? And it was uh, in total, not just the four main islands. I did say think big. The answer is 14,125, uh, much higher than I thought, uh, but it, and it, was, it did make a difference to the leaderboard. So we'll quickly look at that, starting with the single players. In third place is Adam with a brilliant score of 56 out of 60. Well done, Adam. Really impressive. And because of the tiebreaker, you just pipped the slug boy. So well done. And we'll go to second is Frank with an awesome 58 out of 60. Super quizzing, Frank. A very consistent scorer. Brilliant job, well done. And the top score this week is Ash, 58 as well. Just pipping Frank on the tiebreaker, very close between two. Fantastic quiz, Ash. Uh, well done, and uh, thank you, buddy. Take care. So we'll move on to the teams. In third place is Olivia and Mark, which is a father and daughter team with a brilliant 58 out of 60. Uh, their top score ever, so well done, you two. Very impressive. And in second place is Clounded Eden, do love the name, 59. Great, great quiz. And well done, your team. Very good. And then the top score, once again, is Cactus Jonathan and Zach with 60 out of 60. Aced it. Well done, your, uh, well done, your team. Very impressive. Well done to you six. And uh, well done to everybody who played. There were some brilliant scores. Love reading the comments as well. So big thank you for those. Uh, keep them coming. Okay, moving on to this week's quiz. It's five rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week is a 1980s round. Uh, this round was requested by myself. It's my 40th birthday this weekend and I love all things 80s, so just a little present for me. Uh, number four is a science round and the final round is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two. After round three this week, the format's slightly different and after the final round. As always, I do hope you enjoy and good luck. So round one is a picture round. There are 10 pictures, people, places, etc. You will have 13 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, uh, who are these from the world of music? You do need both of them. Number three, name the sports star. Number four, name the historical figure. Number five, which company has this logo? Number six, which well-known person have I warped? Number seven, can you get the song title from these images? Number eight, which uh, country does this flag belong to? Number nine, name the film. And the last one, what is this a close up of?
Okay, round two is the entertainment round. 10 questions and you have 13 seconds for each. Number one. Which actor played Topper Harley in the comedy film Hot Shots? Number two. The Pink Ladies feature in which musical? Number three, the 2013 film Rush is centred around which sport? Number four, complete the title of this song by the four seasons. December blank, oh what a night. Fill in the blank. Number five, Berlioz, Toulouse and Duchess are characters in which animated Disney film? Number six, who played Penny in the popular TV show The Big Bang Theory? Number seven, Three Times a Lady was a 1960, 1978 sorry, hit song for which band? Number eight, the fictional company Dunder Mifflin is from which US TV show? Number nine, Margot Robbie is playing Barbie in an upcoming film of the same name. Who is playing Ken? I won't be seeing that one. And the last one, number 10. In which decade did the UK comedy sensation Only Fools and Horses first air? Was it the 1970s or the 1980s? Okay, that's the end of the first two rounds. I hope you scored well. I will go through the answers and then we'll go straight into round three. Okay, the answers for round one, the picture round, this TV or movie star is Gene Wilder. Number two, from the world of music, you did need both. It is Donnie and Marie Osmond. Number three, the sports star, Kylian Mbappe. Number four, the historical figure is Indira Gandhi. Number five, the company's logo. Which company has this logo, sorry? That is T-Mobile. Number six, which well-known person has, have I warped? That is Greta Thunberg or Thunberg. Okay, number seven, uh, the song. Did you get the song title? It is I Am The Walrus. Quite an easy one this week. Okay, this flag belongs to which country? Very good. If you said Croatia. And uh, number nine, uh, the film. The film is Chicken Run. And the last one, the close-up, it's an ice cream. So the answers for the entertainment round, number one, which actor played Topper Harley in the comedy film Hot Shots? It was played by Charlie Sheen. Number two, the Pink Ladies feature in which musical? They feature in Greece. 
Number three, the 2013 film Rush is centred around which sports? It is motor racing. If you did put Formula One, give yourself the point. Number four, complete the title of the song by the four seasons, December blank, oh what a night. It is December 1963. Uh, again, if you put 63, please give yourself the point. Uh, Berlioz, Toulouse and Duchess are characters in which animated Disney film? They're from the Aristocats. Number six, who played Penny in the popular TV show The Big Bang Theory? Played by Kaylee Cuco. Number seven, Three Times a Lady was a 1978 hit song for, what do you get there, the Commodores. Number eight, uh, Tundra Mifflin is a fictional company from which US TV show? One of my favourites, it's The Office. Number nine, Margot Robbie is playing Barbie. Who is playing Ken? No, thank you. It is Ryan, uh, Ryan Gosling, sorry. And the last one, number 10, in which decade did the TV show Only Fools and Horses first air? It was the 1980s, uh, 1981, I think. But well done if you got that one. Okay, round three is the 1980s rounds. Uh, this round is slightly different to the previous round threes that I've done. There are still gonna be 20 points available, but it's not two points per question. It's just gonna be split into two parts. So for the first part, very easy. There are 10 general knowledge questions all about the 1980s. You'll have around 13 seconds for each one, and I'll explain the second part when we get there. So good luck. Okay, the second part of round three is the top five section. You will see a question in the middle of the screen. 
that requires five answers. There are two questions in total, so you've got 10 points up for grabs. For example, it could be named the top five highest paid actors of the 1980s, and you'd get one point for every correct one. So you're gonna have one minute per question, so I'm sure that's enough time. I do hope you enjoy, and best of luck. Question one, name the top five richest countries in the world by GDP in the year 1980. So just the year 1980, not the whole of the 80s. Okay, question two, bit difficult this one. Name the top five highest grossing films of the 1980s. So the whole decade of the 80s, the top five highest grossing films. Okay, that's the end of round three. I hope you enjoyed it. And if anybody got Batman as one of the top five grossing films, I tip my hat, well done you. So I'll go through the answers and then we'll go into those two final rounds. Okay, the answers for round three. Number one, Bob Hawke was a prime minister of which country between 83 and 91? The answer is Australia. Number two, what was the name of the Greenpeace ship sunk by the French in 1985? It was called Rainbow Warrior. Number three, who did Tom Hanks marry in 1988? He married Rita Wilson. Number four, in which year was the Chernobyl disaster? Well done if you said 1986. Number five, what was the name of the volcano that erupted in 1980? That was Mount St. Helens. Number six, <laughs> the electric car released by Clive Sinclair, a bit of a flop, it was the Sinclair C5. If you just said C5, give yourself the point. Uh, which team won the 1986 FIFA World Cup? That was Argentina. Number eight, a 1981, who was elected president of the USA? Much more of an easy one, it's Ronald Reagan. Number nine, I carried a watermelon is a line from which film? It's from Dirty Dancing. And the last one, number 10, first aired in 1983, which artist was the host of The Joy of Painting? That was Bob Ross. So the second part of the 1980s round named the top five richest countries in the world by GDP in the year 1980, and they are in order. The first one is USA. Number two is the Soviet Union. Number three is Japan. Number four is Germany. And the last one, number five, is France. Very good job if you've got all of those. Moving on to the second question, much tougher this one. Name the top five highest grossing films of the 1980s. Uh, I got all the answers from IMBD and a couple of other sources. So in top position is E.T. 
Again, these are in order, but you haven't got to have them in order for the points. Uh, number two is Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Number three is Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Number four is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Uh, number five shocked me, it is Batman. Okay, round four is a science round. In this round, you're gonna see the names of 10 chemical elements in the middle of the screen. And on the left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna see 10 symbols for those chemical elements. You just need to match the correct symbol to the correct chemical element. You'll get one point for each correct one. Uh, I know this round won't suit everybody. So if you really don't like this sort of stuff, I hope you have some lucky guesses. Good luck. For the last round, round five is a general knowledge round. There are 10 questions. You'll have around 13 seconds for each. Number one, which car company had a model called the Picasso? Number two, what does a cartographer create? Number three, in which decade did IBM launch their personal computer? Number four, caught live on television, Jack Ruby shot and killed who in 1963? Number four, which African country is known as the Rainbow Nation? Number six, what is the strongest hand you can get in a game of poker? Uh, Texas Hold'em poker. Number seven, SN is a symbol for which chemical element? It was in the previous round, so I hope you remember.
Number eight. In Roman numerals, which number is represented by L? Number nine. The French dish Cocovan contains which meats? A fish or B chicken? And number 10, the last one. If you travel due north from Tokyo, what is the first country you would come to? So the answers for round four, the science round number one, silver. The symbol is AG. Number two, lead is PB. Number three, tungsten is W. Number four, tin is SN. Number five, mercury is HG. Six, gold is AU. Seven, iron is FE. Eight, antinomy is SB. Nine, sodium is NA, which leaves 10, argon as AR. So the answers for round five, number one, which car company had a model called the Picasso? That is Citroen. Number two, what does a cartographer create? They create maps. Number three, in which decade did IBM launch their personal computer? That was in the 1980s. Number four, caught live on television, Jack Ruby shot and killed who in 1963? He killed Lee Harvey Oswald. And number five, which African country is known as the Rainbow Nation? That is South Africa. Number six, what is the strongest hand you can get in a game of poker? Strongest hand is a royal flush. Number seven, SN is a symbol for which chemical elements? It's the symbol for tin. Number eight, uh, in Roman numerals, which number is represented by L? That is the number 50. Number nine, Coco Van contains which meat, fish or chicken? It contains chicken. And the last one, number 10. If you travel due north from Tokyo, what is the first country you would come to? Very well done if you said Russia. Okay, now for this week's tiebreaker question. A film called The Cure for Insomnia holds a Guinness World Record as the longest film ever made. How many hours long is it? So when you post your score, remember to put your tiebreaker uh, guess. It could make all the difference in the leaderboard next week. And uh, even if you're not on the leaderboard, just play along, just a bit of fun. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. Really big thank you for playing, truly is appreciated. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and you won't miss any future quizzes. Uh, also, uh, next week, uh, the pub quiz will be out. This pub quiz will be out as normal. But the following day, there is I'm doing a, a special one, which is uh, kind of a UK based one. I've had a lot of requests for rounds, which really suit a UK audience. Uh, and I can't really put them in this because it's, it's quite worldwide. So the day after I release my next one, I'm working on it already, there'll be a UK based one with some UK special rounds. So either you live in the UK or you have a good knowledge of the UK or you just really want to test yourself, uh, check it out. So thanks again, have a lovely weekend and bye-bye.